Look, Daddy, it's you. Let's go out to play, Daddy. Her name is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head. a long time, and Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. Ah, at last a signal. You who are bringing this dead city to life. Listen, my name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are. 
and I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. in weeks. This is Dr. Sophia Lam with a message for the people. Remember, you are not alone. Think of me not as leader, but as mother to the Rapture family. In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. You arrive, as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. Yeah, walk with you. This is Dr. Sophia Lamb. Andrew Ryan is dead, but the tyrant dwells within us all. Remember, we reject the gene. We reject the self. We reject the tyrant. I know you. That symbol on your hand marks you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta. Since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart. Out of your pain, paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. 
It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you. Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lamb. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. Nuts! I saved whole kindergarten full of cutesy little brats. happy ever after. Ugh, Sophia Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny, one you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. <laughs> Now, here is what the children tell me. You are a very old Big Daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. Here, in the ticket booth, press the button so we can speak face to face. Turn to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins, and the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk. Citizens, Citizens of rapture. rapture. This, this is, is Subject, Subject Delta. Delta. Behind, Behind that, that mask hides an enemy of the people, people. Without, without soul, soul or, sympathy. or sympathy. It is a it beast is apart, apart, and as, as family. family we must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lamb will take this place apart to fight you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape.
thank you. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this. But there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta. And good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha Series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. The hounds! The hounds! Leave them! I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please, enjoy the park. Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for... <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mum says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog-eat-dog. Dog. I wanted to see these dog-eaters, so I waited until Mum was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog-eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. You did it. 
Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Are we gonna... We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. That is a child of the family. Not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Here they come. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the hunt. Ridiculous! <laughs> Son, but a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. We've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more atom than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. Our 
tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough atom now. Barely. Head to the hall of the future and splice up with incinerate. <laughs> So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. Are you as good as my daddy, Miss? Light up enemies to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spread. Son, not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. Outstanding sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there and I'll come out and jump on. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel? to force a mirror on a man with no face. Lem was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. I remember you, monster. You stole, stole Eleanor, Eleanor from, from me. me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face. Crazy says, piss off and die, Tin Shit. 
Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home. But that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Old Papa's drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture. But it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some uh, affordable housing. When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in alternatives. I don't favor spending more than an hour or so down here at a time. There ain't a side of the tracks more wrong than under them. Who's Nobody tell you. Shop, but it's bolted up tight. You'll have to find another way inside, I expect. Family, that monster has taken another of our babies for his own. Tin Daddy is hollow like a jail cell that needs filling, and he will never let her go unless you hunt him down. Even after what you did to her, Dr. Lamb found a way to shape that girl into something perfect, something holy. She's a daughter to us all. Nobody in Rapture will shelter you now. Grace has got the wrong idea. You're not responsible for turning Eleanor into a little sister. Big daddies are just slaves, and you only recently broke free. Remember, son, without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie, and that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. There's one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Look at you, sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. <laughs> Father, it's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope. A reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta. Do you deserve to take it from her?
just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. The baby snatcher's headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. Watching you hurt shouldn't give me such a lift, monster. But I'm not as clean on the inside as the doctor. I'll take my jaw where I can. Blood divides us, monster. It's blood that... But thanks to Dr. Lamb, we're all family now. One people. Bleed this old body. But you, you cannot, cannot end, end the family. And as for you, Tin Daddy, you're dying alone. Andrew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bunk! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. Gracie's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. We both died tonight, monster. I, because your kind has killing in its nature. And you, because there's no way the family will let you stroll out alive with that key. disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you, looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. To hell with you, then. Go on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun? Yet you just walk away. No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. 
I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. Hop on, kid, and start the train. Don't make me pull the whistle now. Hear me, O oh ye who would murder the Lamb of God. Ye shall never reach her God. Kid, come on, wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the great hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. <laughs> I see Father Wales has parted you from your craft, and yet you cling to life. Congratulations. Today, Delta, you meet a man who has no fear of death. And for Eleanor, he would burn with a smile. <laughs> See, I think that was Simon Wales. What's he done to himself? He and his brother were Rapture's architects, but when Doc Lamb came along, Simon got religion. He's got a kind of church down in the pumping station. Expect a reckoning when you arrive. I think Mother knows I'm helping you like this. She's accelerating my treatments. Don't give up on me. Looks like the good fathers kept up with the code locks. Time was, only way to join with Doc Lamb was to beg an audience with him first. Must be some side of that number lying around. See if you can find us a lead. Daniel, you and I drafted Rapture's blueprint together. Wales and Wales, architects. Do you remember? But Andrew Ryan led us astray, my brother. Turn us from the Almighty. Dr. Lamb offers you salvation, Daniel. I ask only for proof that the barest flicker of faith remains in you. I left a gift for you at the Pink Pearl in your offices. Find the code on it, brother. We shall pray together for your sorry soul. I've got the maddening notion that I owe you my life, stranger. Such as it is. I'm sending you a care package to the Nemo along the way. 
I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Dr. Lamb. was among the ritziest lodgings in Rapture. But during the war, the residents put themselves up for sale. Daniel's office is on the top floor, I believe. Are you silent? Good here's me peace offering. Welcome to the Pink Beck and Pearl, sweetheart. That has to be Daniel. Hunt him down and pin his ears back, kid. do not die in fear as you did. We achieve martyrdom. Ah, now through this junction is the rest of the alley, including the very pumping station we are after. Father Wales has been recruiting holy rollers down there for lamb. found the code, did you? All right, time to hightail it back to the door and punch those numbers in. Cut the power on you. You're stuck till the backups kick in. I'll help you hold them back. Check the new mode. Know this beast. Daniel's body may go cold, but his soul rests with the child of the lamb. You shall roast and blacken in the pit, and it'll be a grieving brother sent you there.
Legion! think you're closing in on Simon's underground temple. Now get down to pumping station number five and drain out the park here. Oxygen's running thin in this train car, and I'd sure hate to see our partnership cut short. Ask yourself, Delta. You, who have suffered beyond measure at the hands of men like Ryan, what is the cost of paradise? To end pain. To end sin. What must we pay? Eleanor is my answer. What the beast is upon us, children. It wears a hide of iron, and its hands are death and change. It would seize the child from us, and with her, paradise itself! Be ye soldier of the ground, or angel of the sky, ye must stand fast and send it howling back to hell. One thing, though, once you transfer the suction to Dionysus Park, we've got a tiny window of opportunity to get you inside. I don't have much air left, but I'll hang in there. You make sure you're ready before you throw that switch. Do you think me a tyrant? Delta, vying for control of a dead man's dream. The city is nothing. Rapture must die so that Eleanor may rise from its body. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Lamb's overloading the pumps. The place is coming down. Get to Dionysus Park. Subject Delta, I want you to commit this moment to memory for me. This howling, brutish slog 
through the dark. This is who we are. Get out of there, kid! It is the world for which you strive. You, alone among the dead. Dionysus Park was owned by Sophia Lamb, Chief. Sort of a private retreat for her social experiments. One night it flooded, killing all her guests. Paper said it was cult-related. Come on up to the train station. Let's rendezvous. Dionysus Park. His death is our rebirth. The life of the people's daughter is in your hands. Well, the good news is I've located a new train car, but the station's still locked down and we're not alone in here. I see a shadow in the security booth. I'll lay low while you have a gander. Oh, hello, boys. The name's Stan Poole, Rapture Tribune. Quality paper. <laughs> Before the locals stopped reading and started finding uh, other uses for it. Anyway, I'm uh, looking to cut a deal, fellas. Come by the train station. I'm here in the booth. Dionysus Park was my home, Delta. An experiment in social unity cut short by human folly. You dishonor its memory with every step. Now that, see, Lamb knows you're here, but uh, I'm incognito. Thing is, since you drained out the park, the little sisters are already starting to uh, nose around, looking for Adam, and uh, I can't have that. Take this, father, and hurry. Mother can't hear this, but she's... She's looking right at me. And her face. Okay, so dead men tell no tales, right? <laughs> Wrong. See, with Adam involved, every stiff's got a story. And Lamb knows how to read it. If that stuff makes it back to her, I'm an obituary. So, I want you to take the story of Dionysus Park and bury it. Get rid of the little sisters for me. Your way. Do that, and I'll unlock the station here. <laughs> Scout's honor. Well, I'd say he's hiding something, but he sort of took the fun out of that one. He's locked in the security booth, however, so we'll have to play along. Find those sisters. You mistake my nature, Delta. I wish no Adam for myself. Eleanor is the dream, and she needs neither weapons nor parlor tricks. There she is. Little Tyke wants to be in pictures. Real cute. Now get rid of the muscle and deal with her.
smart. See? You put it to work, and all that atom ends up in you. But you're sort of a silent partner. So that's tops with me. here. Normally, only a little sister can see them, but I can show you what Stanley is trying to hide. When Mother was taken away, Stanley was left in charge of Dionysus Park. He spent all her money through these mad parties. It was like he was trying to ruin her. You okay there? Keep your eye on the brass ring, brother. Find the rest of the sisters. Subject Delta's just a serial number, amigo. I did a lot of digging on you for a feature once. They used to call you Johnny Topside. Found the city all on your own in a diving bell. Real shame what they did to you. Just a deep sea explorer with iron cojones, pal. The public gave it a nickname, but Ryan was sure you were a spook. So his people locked you up, erased your damn name. Goodbye, Johnny Topside. Hello, Subject Delta. <laughs> When all this is over, and we're divvying up Rapture's bounty, you and I'll be holding court on a private island, son. Think of it. Each world power on bended knee, holding a bouquet made of money. Eleanor will become the daughter of the people, a true utopian, brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. Father, Stan 
only just let Mother's followers turn into animals. When word came that she was returning, he knew they would blame him. So he found a way to silence them all. And now he's trying to cover it up. That's it. Now all that old dirt stays underground, and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. But remember, if Lamb catches you, <laughs> mum's the word. Delta, our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men that you are not to suffer. I accept full responsibility for any anger you may experience before you die. Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. The girls you've saved from Mother want to thank you. Check the gatherer's garden. Subject Delta, I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here, and had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb knew? And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready. Just... Just let me live! Mother's not lying this time, Father. He really did it. To both of us. This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. October 9th. 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son.
Great. Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander, same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Level. I, I identified clinical trial subject. Cla cla classification. Protector. Designation. Designation. Delta. Status. Dis dis deceased. Error. Updating status. Please -le -le stand by. Hello again. I... I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Please speak password to enter. Agnes Day. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Please see password to enter. I warned you. He's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. Dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! 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 
Daddy's giving you stores and parties. I know what you're up to. You're up to my job, aren't you? With your background? Ha! Do you know what class of person we chose for the Alpha Series? Criminals, Delta. You'll be laughed out of the boardroom, out of the city! I think you're onto something, kid. Some kind of pirate relay doohickey keeping security under his spell. Find the rest of those and vandalize them directly. line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. Yuma, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. Totally a single. 
single volunteer? Oh, come now, gentlemen. She'll be awfully nervous up here. Upstaged a fellow demonstrator, and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? Still a winner, Delta. The tour was never the same without you. And you think you were so spliced you couldn't stand when we stuffed you into that get-up. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a team, my boy. Insubordination! Severance package cancelled! Benefits... Benefits rescinded! I... I... <laughs> Agnes Day. Access corroborated. Welcome, Gil Alexander. Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, now. Uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it. As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that oxyphil station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds. A willing subject, that is to say, myself. Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam infused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. I see you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it.
a listen son, those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down, find those plants he mentioned, and lure him back out. We can't have you running around the laboratories in your condition. Marching around, playing daddy, until some splicer manages to kill off their sister. And then, if the coma doesn't take them, they turn maniac. Nothing left to do but scream. Uh, no offense intended, son. We better get you to Eleanor, on the double. Your body begins to tear itself apart. The compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma. You have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why? This is where they bound us together, Father. Plain God. You were the only good thing that Rapture ever gave me. She was not meant to have a father, Delta. She was to be an heir to my life's work. And this is where they changed her, bonding her to you. The child she was died in this room. All right, sport, time to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in. his will to die, Delta. To serve the majority by protecting them from his lunacy. Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. Will you grant his request, knowing that he served the family? Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library.
should I do? Buy me out with this, this bribe, this penance, this sublime. God damn you, Delta! <laughs> Perfect, son. You reeled him in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you will administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure, and I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. I'm sorry! Please! This is the Oxyfill station, Chief. But don't be fooled by the facade. This is the way in. Use that key now. Here. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture dying to keep you two apart. Father, come quickly. I I'm trapped in a cage. Something's wrong. I wonder, Delta, do you know why you are here? Have you any idea what my daughter has given you? As I watch you now, I envy your ignorance. You still believe. That's her, son. Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. How will she remember us after this moment? I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father, locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta. And take heart, for you, at least, have escaped your legacy.
quarantine chambers waiting on you. Get in there! Your seat is ready! I see or hear a thing! Look at her, Delta. Ten years, and still she dreams of you. Fifty seconds remain. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. And she has been watching you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster, shaped by you alone, just as she has always wanted. 20 seconds remain. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. He will return elsewhere. Full restraints at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now. Or worse. But I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. Shh. I know this feels a bit strange, Father. But now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go. This is how I brought you back without Mother catching on. Now, first, let's get you out of here. She's holding us in. Find a way to slip in there. You're in. There should be a lever in here somewhere. Pull it, and it will unlock our cells. Attention! Augustus Sinclair has been sighted within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. All family duties are hereby suspended until he is found. What Mother did to me left me very weak, or I would do this part myself. To save your life, I'm going to have to change to be like you. From here, 
you should be able to locate the pieces of a big cyst suit. Please, bring them to me. There's a piece of the suit in here, Father. Find the rest and bring them back to me. Ten years, Father. Stuck in this... this fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius, serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that. Sisters are made from me, in part. As they grow up in rapture, I feel it all. When you were with the little ones, they trusted you as their father, because of me. right about one thing. I have been watching you, Father, studying the way you have treated others, and now I know who I am. I am free. After everything Mother has done to me, I am alive and sane enough to be curious about the sun. When you rescued my new sisters, I felt every one. And it gave me hope for the first time in years. Now, I will do the same for all the others, starting with this one. We've done it, Father. I'll be there soon. These suits always did make me think of you, Father. I guess I still remember you in shining armor. But now it's my turn to fight for you. Take this plasmid. You can use it to call me to your side in a fight. work, and with it, my only daughter. But Rapture is the house of monsters. The surface will not have us. And now, we shall be buried as a family, side by side. Oh God, she's going to drop this building into the trench. It's miles deep. We have to find Sinclair. This is Sinclair's lifeboat, Father. Out the window here. It's our only chance of escape. From what I know of Sinclair, he wouldn't just abandon it. Yes, Delta. What of Sinclair? The man who would sell paradise. And where is he now? 
charges within its foundations. Surrender before detonation, or we shall fall and be crushed in the abyss below. Mother has locked all of Persephone down, including the gangway leading to the lifeboat. We can reverse it from the holding wing if we hurry. Come on! Use the plasmid if you need me, Father. I'm going to have a look around. This is an emergency. Subject Delta has escaped. Eleanor Lamb has turned on her own people. Stand and fight, or the Rapture family falls together. of rapture father it's the only way i can save you now beginning admission sequence don't you recognize sinclair delta now he is what you should have been one final alpha series ready to die for the family as Persephone's former owner, he is the ideal man to put you back in your cage. Mother's controlling Sinclair, Father, and he's got the master key. Catch him! Kid, lamb's in my head. I, I can't help myself. I have to fight just to talk. Left me my goddamn tongue to torture the bomb codes out of me. She wants me to stop you leaving. I... I'm sorry. Eleanor, I know you can hear me. I am inside Sinclair's lifeboat now. Delta cannot reach me here. But you can. You need not die with him. We... We shall return to the surface together, if you will only step inside and accept your duty. Remember, Eleanor, Mummy loves you. Ah, yes. Mother's testing me. One last game. Fortunately, by now, I'm the world's foremost expert at breaking her rules. I've made my choice, Father, and if needs be, I'll die for it. Kid, I'm sorry. I've, I've locked you in here. Lamb's making me dance on her goddamn strings. I can't stop. You're gonna have to break in here and, and put me down. Wish there was another way. But I'd rather die a man than live like this. God, he's right, Father. Mother's betting you'll die in here or that I'll abandon you before the bombs detonate. We can't save Sinclair now. We need that key from him. Find the code to the watchtower or work out a way to draw him out. Son. I built this place, and I, I did rent you out to those plasma trials up at Fontaine. And now, now I'm paying for it. 
wish I had time to make amends. Take the lifeboat. It, it's all yours. Just don't leave me like this. Free will, Delta. Eleanor's gift to you. And with each decision, you twisted her into your own image. Sinclair has no such choice. Yet in its absence, he serves the world unerringly. He is now the better man. I caught a glimpse of the warden entering the code to the tower today. The last two digits were seven and three. Didn't catch the rest. Maybe I can just figure it out. Trial and error. Wonder how long that'd take. Good. Good, son. That's half the code. Now find the rest. When you... when you do me in, kid, don't blame yourself. I won't be able to stop from trying to gun you down, but it helps to know that you'll stick it to lamb after... And let young Eleanor see the sun. Good, good. I can see the back door is open. Now try to get something in here to pick a fight. It's got to be a real threat, I think. Do you not see, Delta? You were a thing of beauty when first we met. Non-conscious, yet utterly vital to your city. The flaw was only in your master's intent. It is an error we have corrected in Sinclair. He is bonded to the entire family. The Wardens ignored my warnings for far too long. I'm taking this into my own hands. I secured a hack tool to nullify his turrets and subvert the bots. I also figured out the code. It's two, six, but a push. That's the full code, kid. You've done it now. Now just come on in here and put me down easy. Sinclair is moving, Father. Track him down. We need that key. Sinclair is dead, Father. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you were close. When you're ready, take the key. Now, Father, I'm afraid that ending the lockdown means releasing all the prisoners. So please, be ready before you use that key on the override switch. Sinclair died a hero of the Rapture family, Delta. Was he a friend to you, or just a tool? Can you even grasp the difference? And Eleanor, you have chosen Subject Delta over your mother, your people, and the duty of your birth. So be it. You believe this craft will carry Delta to safety like a spoiled child with a new toy. I have no choice but to take it away. Curfew lifted. All cell blocks open. All bulkhead seals released. Oh no. Mother's turned her attention to the lifeboat. We must go there, now!
every moment tears Eleanor further from me, Delta. Soon, this father obsession will end her. You have left me without want. Before you die, I will take all that you hold dear. Sinclair is just another body in your wake. <laughs> I was afraid of this. Mother has bombed out the ballast compressors, Father. The lifeboat will be too heavy to launch. Unless... Let me think. I think I can boil away the water and get the lifeboat to rise. But I can't generate that much heat alone. It's time to recruit the rest of Mother's little sisters. We're taking them with us. Head to the pediatric wards. I won't let her take you from me again, Father. Hold on. Mother's people are starting to detonate the charges. We don't have long. You're almost to the pediatric ward. I expect we'll be fighting our way inside. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal. Push the call button on the window there, and then I'll proceed. Wake the children up. They're stronger than they know. With their help, I should be able to boil off the water and get us all out of here. Go on ahead, Father. I'll free them as quickly as I can, just as you showed me. You are not saving them, Delta. No matter how pure your intent. The surface is not paradise, but perdition. I would sooner see them drown. Look, Father, I know you may not have wanted a daughter, but love is just a chemical. We give it meaning by choice. I will be damned if I let Mother take you away from me again. Another charge gone. We have to keep moving. If this building falls, we're all dead. Eleanor was to be a composite of all Rapture's genius. The first living utopian. Serving the world at large with no regard for herself. To force consciousness on such a being is to tear its wings away. That was your gift to her, Delta. Just as she hoped. You must be very proud. Steady, Father. Don't let go now. We're nearing a 
guard the pediatric ward. It will be guarded, Father. Get ready. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal like before. Push the call button and I'll proceed. for the ballast tank. I can boil off the water and get us out of here. We must return to the docking platform, Father, now. You granted Eleanor the will to choose. And now, like a plague, she spreads it to those innocents. To be self-aware is a curse, Delta. You are damning them. I'm stepping inside the ballast tank, Father. Come up to the glass once you're ready for me to begin. There's no going back once we start. You would rip my only daughter from her home and family and feed her to a world without hope. Though Utopia may die with her, I would sooner see us fall. Goodbye, Eleanor. Mother will be waiting for you. Here they come, Father! Hold them off until I can bring it to a boil!
And then, Father, the rapture dream was over. You taught me that evil is just a word. Under the skin, it's simple pain. For you, mercy was victory. You sacrificed, you endured, and when given the chance, you forgave. Always. Mother believed this world was irredeemable, but she was wrong, Father. We are Utopia, you and I. And in forgiving, we left the door open for her. The rapture dream is over, but in waking, I am reborn. This world is not ready for me, yet here I am. It would be so easy to misjudge them. You are my conscience, Father, and I need you to guide me. You will always be with me now, Father. Your memories, your drives. And when I need you, you'll be there on my shoulder, whispering. If Utopia is not a place, but a people, then we must choose carefully, for the world is about to change. And in our story, Rapture was just the beginning.